Now that you've set up your design in PE Design 11, it's time to set up the frame. Cut a piece of adhesive tearaway backing approximately 17 and a quarter by 11 inches. Turn the hoop over so it's face down. Peel back the release paper from the back of the stabilizer. Slowly adhere the stabilizer to the back of the hoop. Adjust the position if necessary. Make sure the edges are secure. Turn the hoop right side up and then secure your project to the stabilizer. To support the frame, Brother recommends using either of these optional accessories, the wide table or the tubular frame table. This video demonstrates its use with the tubular frame table. Slide the tubular support onto the tubular arm of the embroidery machine. When it clicks into place, it is in the correct location. Gently pull from the front to extend the tubular support. Insert the Durkee frame into the embroidery arm. On the machine's screen, touch USB. Touch the thumbnail of the complete pattern. Touch side AA. Touch Set. Press the center up arrow until the design will not move any further. Touch Embroidery. Thread your machine and embroider the first half of the embroidery design. After the first half has embroidered, touch OK to embroider the next segment. Touch the design BA. This is the second half of the design. Touch Set. Touch Embroidery. Touch Rotate. Touch Rotate 90 degrees two times. Touch OK. Now that we have the design oriented correctly, it's time to align it. Remove the hoop from the machine and rotate it 180 degrees. Insert it back into the machine. Touch the starting point position key. Choose the bottom right point. Touch OK. Now it's time to line up the LED light with the alignment stitch that was stitched at the end of the first half of the design. Use the arrows to move the design. The LED light should be directly over the tie-off knot at the end of the line. To test the position, you can press the lock key and the scissors key. This will drop the needle to show you if you are in the correct place. If you need to adjust the position, press the forward back stitch key and then press 0. Adjust the design and then press the lock and the scissors key to test it again. Once the design is aligned, press lock and then start. If you don't wish to stitch the second basting stitch, you don't have to. You can press the forward back selection key and fast forward a color. When the design is finished embroidering, press Cancel to return to the home screen. Remove the hoop from the machine. Gently remove the basting stitches from the design and remove from the hoop.